this is a very nice place to be, isn't it? It's the inside of a new Jaguar XE. And we're going to go for a little drive today with Jeff Chung. Now, Jeff is the brand manager for Jaguar at Archibald and Shorter in Auckland. And uh, he's passionate about Jaguar. So uh, I thought we'd hear from him how Jaguar goes in New Zealand. Hello, Jeff. How are you, buddy? Welcome. Nice to see you. Good to see you again. Thank you for uh, taking us for a little drive and your new baby. No problem. Um, driving a Jaguar is uh, uh, something I really enjoy doing. So it's, uh, yeah, all good. Yeah, one yes, of the reasons I got the job here was because of that experience with um, European prestige cars. It's because of your accent, isn't it? And, and the, what and got the accent. You the job. Come and, on. The, and the accent. I mean, you, you bring so much more credibility to talk about Jaguar when you've got that lovely yes. accent. Well, I'm going to try and get the rest of the Kiwi guys just to speak, speak a little bit more pro properly and, uh, and um, <laughs> Good luck with that. see if it works. You really, you really love that brand, don't you? And it must be... Oh, um, it's, it's easy when it's a car. And, yeah. and hey, I know we joke about the Englishness of it, but yeah. I was brought up with Jaguars. I, brought, I was brought up that Jaguars were the ultimate car, that the E-Type was what every young boy aspired to and would, would never get because they were so exotic and, and really so expensive at the time. So, yeah. and, and the Jaguar, and this, after so many years of working with G German brands, the Jaguar is different. It, it, it really is. Um, the way I like to put it is that it's very much an emotional brand. It ticks all the boxes emotionally and it should do. It looks great, feels great. You, you'll hear it when I put the foot, the foot down. It, yeah, it, it, it sounds great. Yeah. And there are things that we do at Jaguar that the Germans wouldn't do because the Germans are very efficient. They make some fantastic cars, some of the best cars in the world. But yeah, Jaguar is all really about the emotions of cars. We're not just a machine. It's all about the driver. It's all about the driver, hands on wheel, getting the feel, getting the feedback, feeling the power, feeling the way the car drives. And I think we do that better than anyone else. You know, you are, with this car particularly, going into that very congested 3 Series, C-Class, Audi A4 group of cars. Do you think there's, obviously you think there's room in, in there for the Jaguar, but do you think there's enough buyers in there that think the way you do about the emotional side of things as opposed to the Germanic sort of precision and efficiencies? Well, you're, you're absolutely right. First and foremost, 100% right. It's a very, very competitive part of the market. But this is where Jaguar has come in. We, we've, we've got something different to offer. Um, first and foremost, I know we're in the inside of the car. If you look at it outside, it's an attractive looking car. The proportions are spot on. The amount of clients that I get coming and saying, oh yeah, I don't want to drive it, it's a big car. But it's not, it's exactly the same length as the old X-Type to the millimeter. It's the way the proportions are, right. the way the car's been built. Um, our designer, Ian Callum, is one of the, the sharpest, most shrewd designers in, in the world today. So when you say that, that Jaguar do things differently, you know, obviously the external appeal yeah. of the car is huge because without that eye candy you know, enthusiasm, no one's going to get past it to find out what the engineering, uh, how the engineering manifests. But what about in the driving? What, what sort of things do you know of that they do deliberately to go out of their way and tune in that Jaguarness? And the main thing which we've done is um, this car's built, 70% um, of it's constructed from aluminium. This particular car is not especially light than the competitors. Okay, so the overall gross vehicle weight isn't that much you know, heavier or lighter when you look at it against the Germans. Mm. The fact that it starts off with a light structure in the first place gives you the ability to put in really good quality components that make the car drive better. So, and that kind of componentry, like anything quality, is heavy. So if you start off with a light basis in the first place and add in those components, it makes the overall the car kind of a normal weight, right. but it's got quality componentry. Underneath, what the main thing that we've taken from F-Type is um, the suspension. So the suspension on here is almost direct from the F-Type, which is one of the best handling cars yeah, yeah, that we have. Sure. You, you've not driven one yet, but that no, be, thanks that, for that. Yeah, no, thanks for reminding me there. So you've got a, you've got double wishbone front suspension to the front here, exactly the same as the F-Type. To the rear, you've got a multi-link integral rear suspension. So this is what I'm going back about, no compromise. It has got the most advanced set of suspension system than any car in its class. You get to the gearbox, one of the best gearboxes in the world, it's a, a ZF gearbox. Um, I believe, and I haven't seen the actual figures, I think we're geared slightly different than, than the Germans. I mean, I, I drove an XE directly after driving a, a BMW 320. It, for all intents and purposes, the same gearbox, mm. but the XE just felt quicker. 
it really really did it just felt more responsive um this just uh, the transmission was seamless it just you know you, you wouldn't know it was it it's just fantastic and um so who's, who's, who's coming to see them? We, are, we obviously do have a very loyal client base and we do have some of our older customers. We, we do have customers that have had X-Type that have been waiting for the new XE. Um, we've, we did a lot of marketing at launch um, and you know, the theme with Jaguar at the moment is um, that we're cool. This is what we're saying, Jaguar's cool again. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the last vehicles we sold from here gentleman BMW 3 Series owner had it for a number of years time for change he and it was between us and Mercedes Benz C class mm -hmm. um, and he drove the C class and he came back and I wish I could have taped everything he said because he said the Jaguar drove better than either car and it was all about the drive yeah it really was and yeah an enthusiastic driver that um, you know, likes to get the performance out of his car yeah um, but just was over, and, and he, he didn't go for a performance model, he actually went for the diesel, the two litre diesel, but it's all about the drive. He said the way it rode, the way it fell, just that he could not fault it. Right. And, and to him, it was almost a no-brainer. The other thing I was thinking is that, um, you know, I know the sales, are, the, the numbers are small and will be for a while, but you know, it's important that that momentum is seen, because if you're a customer for a, a, a vehicle, you don't want to be necessarily the first one to take it on and take a punt. You know, and if type's broken that um, that ice for you, mm. people have seen it, they've read about it, they've heard them around the streets. They sound yeah. great, even you know, two k's away. Yeah. So they okay. So Jaguar's in town, you know, and then um, and then the XE comes along. And they go, oh, that looks nice. And someone down the road, I think, bought one of those, and they used to have a C class. So they start to get a momentum build, and it might be the third car or even the fourth car, like the F Pace that you mm. launch, in this sort of new energy and this new sort of confidence that actually accrues a sale. And and I alluded to it earlier on. It's a whole package. It's that whole ethos of selling a premier motor vehicle in the luxury market. You know, we we have got a very high target. We aim to be the best luxury car manufacturer and supplier and distributor, n not only in New Zealand but in the world. And that's a huge call because there's some fantastic companies out there that do brilliant jobs. The message is just come and drive our cars mm. we want you to come in and see the cars in the flesh because they look fantastic and drive them because they drive fantastically no obligation well look thanks Jeff that's amazing it's great to hear it um, as I say I really wanted to hook up with you on this because I know that you embody that passion that Jaguar itself embodies you know you, you, you live it and you do uh, you do uh, represent that so well so um, it's been great to hear from you and uh, I'm sure the, the viewers of the video will be really uh, impressed with how much uh, enthusiasm you have for the brand. And obviously, we'll see the car, we'll drive the car, we'll, yeah. we'll get to know it ourselves. But um, yeah, thanks very much for, uh, for giving us some background on it because it's, uh, obviously it's a proud moment in Jaguar's history and it's great that you're a part of it. Well, thank you very much. And thank you for the opportunity. You know, it's uh, a very, very bright and positive future for Jaguar. And remember, folks, you heard it here <laughs> first. <laughs>